Hello, tonight I'm reading a passage from Centennial, a book written by James A. Missioner, published in 1974, from page 65 of chapter 2. While the ancestral Rockies were disappearing, an event which was to leave still visible consequences was reaching its climax along the eastern shore of what would later be known as the United States. The time was about 250 million years ago, during preceding periods reaching very far into the past, a building process of beautiful complexity had been operating. Into the deep ocean depressions east of the wandering shoreline, prehistoric and very ancient mountains had deposited sediments that had accumulated to a remarkable depth. At some places they were 40,000 feet thick. With the passage of time and in the presence of great pressure, they had of course formed into rock. Thrust and compression, uplift and subsidence had crumpled these rocks into contorted shapes. The stage was now set for an event which would elevate the rocks into a mountain range. It occurred when the subterranean plate on which rested the crust that was later to become part of the continent of Africa began to move slowly westward. In time, the migration of this plate became so determined and perhaps it was matched by a comparable movement of the American plate eastward. That collision became inevitable. The predecessor of the Atlantic Ocean was squeezed so severely that it was entirely eliminated. The continents came into actual contact so that such living things as then existed could move from Africa to America and back again over land. As the inexorable collision continued, there had to be some kind of dislocation along the edges that were bearing the brunt. It seemed probable that the edge of the African plate turned under, its rocky components returning to the crust and perhaps even back to the mantle. We know that the edge of the American plate was thrust upward to produce the Appalachian Mountains, not some ancestral Appalachians, but the roots of the very mountains we see today. After some 20 million years of steady growth, the Appalachians stood forth as a more considerable range than the ancestral Rockies had been. They were, of a certainty, some of the world's most impressive mountains, soaring thousands of feet into the air. Inevitably, as soon as they began to emerge, the tearing down process commenced. First, the continental plates drifted apart, with Africa and the Americas winding up in roughly the positions they occupy today. The Atlantic Ocean, as it exists today, started to develop, its deep inclines providing a basin for the catchment of rock and silt eroded from the heights. Volcanoes operated and at intervals, enormous fractures occurred, allowing vast segments of range to rise while others fell.